So what's all this going to cost me? You've got awesome performance. I don't think so, Kamara. You can't do it. I win. <laughs> Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Jonathan Buckley. It's been a few years since we've had the chance to visit Tesla here in Silicon Valley. Last time we were here, we got to check out the Tesla Model S in its early days. Well, the engineers have been hard at work beefing up an already impressive powertrain and they've come up with this, the Model S P85D. So when the Tesla Model S went on sale in 2012, I don't think there were many people in the car world that weren't super impressed with what was on offer. Cut to three years later and we've got our first real update, the P85D. The D stands for dual motor. In the highest power version, the P85D, We've actually retained the larger rear motor and added the medium-sized motor to the front. Literally everything improves about the car with dual motor. There's no sort of technical drawback. And so we were able to actually achieve a 3.2 second zero to 60. Yeah, yeah it's mad. 470 horsepower in the rear, 221 in the front, 691 horsepower total. And let me tell you, it's addictive. As far as upgrades to the car itself are concerned, it looks pretty much exactly as a regular Tesla Model S. It's got all the things that we love about it. But what they've gone and done is taken all of that and improved on it. The 17-inch touchscreen is still here, still beautiful, crisp, super responsive. They have updated the interface slightly, though, just to add a couple of extra bells and whistles. The display on the front of the dash now is slightly different, too, and updated with a bunch of new features. What I love about Tesla is that we're taking cars from the analog to the digital. This whole car is electronic. When you're talking about an all-wheel drive system, normally you would be doing it with drive shafts. Yes, there's electronic torque converters and things like that, so you are getting variable amounts of power to each wheel, but what Tesla does using the electric motors is it's much, much, much faster, much, much more accurate. So if you're losing power to the rear, it can add more to the front and vice versa. If you want to change the suspension, you can do that too. You can set it to low ride if you want to be going fast. You can set it to super high rise if you've got a big dip on the driveway to get through. You can even set it so that it's riding at a high ride height but then when you hit freeway speeds at 65 the car will lower down as well one really cool feature is that the forward facing camera reads the speed limit sign and it'll give you a little warning on the front dash here right now it says speed limit 25 I'm currently doing 30, time to slow it down a little bit. Another thing that makes the P85D exciting is the autonomous driving functions that it has available to it in the future. Some of the hardware that the P85D has in it is the radar and the forward-facing camera, and we've got the 360-degree sonar, which is going to allow this car to do some really remarkable things. Real-time traffic updates will allow the car to drive itself in stop-and-go traffic. It's got lane change assist, so basically all you have to do to change lanes is just tap the indicator, and the car will actually do itself when it's safe to do so. Self-parking features. Basically, if you have a private garage, your Tesla can come, you can hop out of your Tesla, walk away from it, it'll park in its garage. Or coming to pick you up in the driveway, you just call it and it will come to you. Or maybe you have a meeting in the morning, you set it with your calendar, which is on the big touch screen here, it will pull up to your front door, all you have to do is walk out the front door when it's time to leave for your meeting, hop inside your Tesla, which will then know exactly where you're going, have the map, navigation ready to go, perfectly climatized, favorite tunes going, and off you go. These are the sorts of things that are gonna be available to this car in the near future and that this car is already capable of once they've figured out and ironed out all the kinks. Which brings me to another point. How do we get these things? over-the-air updates. In fact, they've already done one recently. This car originally had a top speed of 130 miles per hour. A lot of people went to bed one night, woke up, installed an update. All of a sudden, they had another 25 miles per hour to play with because the top speed right now, 155 miles an hour. The 3.2 seconds zero to 60 time, yes, it's impressive. 
but with a coming over the air update, that's going to drop to 3.1. So what's all this going to cost me? The P85D comes in around about $105,000. We've got a few extras on this one and basically you can boost the price up to all the way around $130,000. You, you'll be able to choose three settings, which is normal, sport, and insane. <laughs> it will actually say insane. <laughs> it's true. This this car is is nuts. It's like it's like taking off from a carrier. What insane mode does essentially is gives you all of the power that this car has to offer. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be draining the battery faster if you're just driving around in this mode. You can leave it in insane mode and have that ready to go whenever you like it. Let's see how it feels. <laughs> That's incredible. You can feel it in your chest more than anything. I've driven a lot of fast cars, but because this car has all-wheel drive and it's all torque, you just get this punch that just has left absolutely everybody else for dead. But I feel like it's kind of rude for me just to experience this all by myself, so maybe we should give the crew a ride. And then, did you see that? <laughs> wow. I'm not that much of a car person. Was really... Oh my god, that's fast. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I think it's brilliant that Tesla have come out with the P85D. I don't know if this was their strategy, but we know that the Model X is on its way. It should be here this fall. Adding all-wheel drive and two motors to the Tesla Model S, I feel is a great platform for them to, well, not only sell a few extra cars, but also to iron out any kinks that might be there to get the software just right so that when the Model X comes out, it's a fully working production car. Well, the P85D is exactly what we thought it would be, a rowdier, more powerful version of the Model S. But that, combined with its automated driving functions and future over-the-air updates, has reinvigorated our excitement for the brand and for its future models to come. For TransLogic, I'm Jonathan Buckley. We'll catch you next time.